Few fields of towering sugarcane stalks like these still remain. After the closure of Karani 1975 Limited two decades ago, acres of sugar lands were either abandoned or converted for other use. But for Romulus Ramuta, a former private cane supplier to the company, walking away was never an option. My grandfather used to be in sugar cane. My father used to be in it, both grandparents. And um, I continued along that journey as a small boy. My life history was only cane. I didn't know anything else to do, and so so happened this part opened up for me. Considered among the last sugarcane farmers, Ramuta is now in a race against time to save the crop from eventual death. It's a lone number of people. There are a couple of people who are still doing it. Um, some people just grow it for, for supplying other cane juice people. I do it and I do the complete production. I grow cane and I harvest it, juice it, process it, everything. I live by cane. Ramuta labored and lost. That's when he returned to his true love. After 2010, I, I went in the pepper production. And in this area here, we were totally flooded out. That is when uh, I think the, the, the election time. And I lost my crop, a bearing crop, um, totally. I lost over $100,000 with that crop. I, I, I also had my children going to university and school. So I couldn't pay the loan at that time, right? So I had to find something to do to make cash. And this is what I, where I started. And, um, you know, I, I guess a little bit of pressure just put you in different position. By combining his passion for sugarcane farming with agro-processing, Ramuta found a winning formula. Probably I do about uh, four, eight, eight, three, zero, 24, about 2,000 litres, no, 200 litres a day, a week. The bottled sweetness can be found at farmers' markets where stalks are juiced on the spot. Ramata utilizes the sweetest of the over 100 varieties of sugarcane for his juice, and there's no wastage here. The, the sugarcane stalks, we do have mulch. Now, burnt cane, if you mulch that, you call that bagasse. But fresh cane, you call that mulch. And because of the, the, the hot season now, it is the ideal thing to use around your plants. Ramuta is hopeful that agro-processing and agro-tourism can breathe new life into sugarcane, preserving culture and history in the process. Jesse Ramdeo, CNC3 News.